there are many today that would say they do not understand what the Bible actually is. Uh, of course, we know there are many opinions, many misconceptions. Much is even said in opposition today of the Bible. But Christians, they make the claim that the Bible is the Word of God. Now, is this an ill-founded claim? In other words, is it reasonable to believe that the Bible is God's Word? Today, uh, what I want to focus on is the case that the Bible is unique. If the Bible is God's Word, then I believe that it would be unique. It would stand out among all other books. So when we look at the Bible, does it stand out from all other books? And if so, what sets it apart? And so I want to look at some evidences that the Bible is unique. When we casually glance at a Bible, we see one book. We pick it up, and, and it appears to be one book. But the truth is that the Bible is actually a small library. It's made up of 66 books. When you open the Bible and you see Genesis and you flip over to Exodus and Leviticus, or if you go to the New Testament and you see Matthew and then Mark and Luke, each of those are separate books. So the Bible is not just one book. It's 66 books. Each of those books have been written over a 1,500-year time frame. They were written by over 40 different authors, and each of those authors came from various backgrounds. For instance, Moses, he was one of the authors in Scripture. He was a political leader. He was trained in the universities of Egypt. Uh, Solomon was a king and a philosopher. But in contrast to these who were kings and political leaders and highly educated, we have men like Amos, who was a herdsman, or men like Peter, who was a fisherman. Now, these authors also wrote their books in various places. Moses in the desert, uh, Apostle Paul in prison, uh, Luke while he was traveling. Also, they're written in varying moods and circumstances, from, from joy uh, all the way to despair, in times of peace, uh, as well as times of War. So there's much variety among the authors, among their circumstances, and among the writing. Also, the Bible is written in three different languages. It wasn't originally given, of course, in English. It was written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and the New Testament in Greek. So as we look here at the Bible as the way that it has been put together and written and given to us, we see it was comprised over long periods of time. It was written by over 40 different human authors in various circumstances, three different languages, yet the Bible tells one continual story throughout. And that is salvation from sin and condemnation through the Messiah that would come. In Genesis, we're told about the entrance of sin into humanity through Adam. As scripture progresses, what it teaches is that a deliverer will come who will save men from this sin. And then after the Messiah comes, Jesus Christ, then we're told that those who believe can be saved from their sins and spend eternity with God in heaven. And that's what the culmination of the rest of the Bible is about. It's about that relationship that believers have with God and about their eternal home in heaven. So though it has all these different factors uh, that make it up and how we received it, it tells one continual story. Also, the Bible is unique in its circulation. It is the best-selling book of all time. Now, that does not make it the Word of God, but it does make it unique and worth our looking at as to why it is so unique. It's also unique in that it's the most translated book. The Bible has withstood persecution. There have been men who have shed their blood in order to have the Bible. It's received much criticism, yet it's never been uh, refuted. Historical evidence, archaeological evidence, and so forth have continued to verify that the Bible is the truth. Prophecy is another way that the Bible is unique. Uh, there are events that are foretold in the Bible hundreds of years before they come to pass down to minute details. It's unique in its teachings. 
It doesn't teach that we should love ourselves and do all we can for ourselves. It tells us that we should be selfless, love others, and love God. And it has a great influence on people, I believe more so than any other book. We see changed lives from those who come into contact with the Bible. There are people who have been drunkards or drug addicts, people who have persecuted those that would believe in the words of the Bible, and yet their lives have been totally transformed by coming to faith in Jesus Christ and believing the revealed word of God. What does the Bible say about itself? In 2 Timothy 3.16, we're told that all scripture is God-breathed. So the internal record also says that it is the word of God. Today, I would just ask that you would examine the uniqueness of the Bible and ask yourself, could this be the word of God? God.